I wonder if you can have a whale in this game. Let's go even bigger. Let's get Cthulhu in a tank. That would be amazing. A an expansion to this that just adds like eldritch horrors that you have to like balance. And like, you know, keep your allow your people to get in and see them without actually having them go insane. Uh like a nightmare creature zoo. Has that been done before? I have no idea. Anyway, be the architect of a private collector's dream aquarium. Okay, private collector wants to build a new public aquarium from scratch. They want you to be the architect. They've already installed a large tank for the centerpiece of the aquarium. The rest is down to you. Get the aquarium ready to open. Remember to fill, fill your animal's core requirements to maximize their point value. <sighs> for starters... Oh, we can only have this type of paint. I was hoping we could go back to the blue. I actually really don't like these wall textures. They look weird. You just have to sacrifice a certain percent without getting caught. Janitors to clean up the blood, etc. <laughs> uh, that does kind of remind me of Lobotomy Corporation, but still. Did Wanda ever play Big Pharma? No, I, I wanted to, but I couldn't get past the tutorial. Um, look, I couldn't figure out how to jump. No, uh, it the tutorial was just too long. And it was like, I, I want to, but I, I, I just didn't have the time uh, to, like, really commit to it in the same way. A tail butterfly fish. I don't remember having one of these guys. They're good for green, though. Okay, so now I can mostly focus on science for the remaining fishes. Fish! Reef squirrel fishes. Need to shoal... But that should be fine. How full is this aquarium? 72. The water quality is worse and we need we need some uh, some of these. Okay, so in that case. Oh, different animals. Can I restart? Because, yeah, I may have over... under... underestimated... things? Uh, let's see. I actually have no idea if there's a... Okay. I think this will be fine. I'll save as help. Let's get this working, because we've still got some space. I just have to jam in a couple of more... Uh, basic little fish. Okay, so one more totally boring vanilla. Let's throw in a royal grandma. Alright, so it's got five. So now we just got to get the sufficient water quality and heating. Well, hold on. Some things here actually provide. Yeah, rubble. I was hoping to provide more filter power. But the water quality is still too low. Well, these things aren't enough. I guess what we could easily do, get a basic pump, aim it at that. And we want, we just need a better filter. So let's just get a power filter. Two power filters. The butts? This is dumb. Uh, power combi. Alternate power combi. Still not enough.
Do I need to do maintenance on a on a pump, actually? No. You don't have to worry about the pump breaking down. So that's actually that's actually a, a relief in and of itself. Okay, so let's let's sell these. Because I can sell them for the price I bought them at. Let's, let's try and get this working again. I think kelp can help filter. Uh, no, it doesn't look like kelp helps filters. Just the rocks. At least for now. I guess this is what I get for putting the, uh... Gotta love that staff access door. Yeah, I mean, I'm not too buggered by it. We, we have many, many a solution. All I have to do is just uh, offload some of it, because realistically, I don't even I don't even like ooh floor arrows. Okay, so we we can get that going. Uh, let's see. So basic pump. Okay, so we've got we've got that opened up. Spread this out, because eventually I'd like to actually open this uh, open this whole area. I. We're going to want to effectively maximize the amount of aquariums going around the centerpieces we possibly can. Uh, we'll work on that in a second, though. There we go. That is a greedy sucker. Alright, let's go back to decorating this. We want an anchor. We want a shell, and we want a conch. Alright, now we could open our aquarium, or we've still got some money. Let's make a, a pair of... No, 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 no. Let's make a singular wall tank and get it going as well. Okay, we'll need a little bit more space to walk behind. Uh, this one? Yeah, we might have to rethink how I uh, place everything down, but that's okay. Uh, but I figure I might as well get the jump on a couple of things. So we can have two eels that'll put us at 18. One of those that'll put us at 20. And then anything that's three size or less. Do we have any three sizers? If I remember it, this guy's just a grump. Yeah, he doesn't like sharing, but that's about it. Okay, so we just need a rock home. And some grass. And... There goes all my games, but that's okay. Uh, we should probably get some food on this topic. Because we need mussels, so red, green, and orange. And we're also going to need a toolbox. Well, the toolbox is probably going to have to wait. Okay, there we go. We just got money. Oh, we just got a bunch. Okay, that's good. Because I uh, needed a little bit more than I had. I, I overspent. But that's okay, it happens. 
Okay, protein skimmer. Achievable higher water quality. Huh. What is this thing? Additional filtering power is useful for maintaining higher water qualities on small tanks. Alright, that's useful. Alright, so we can get Disco Mushrooms, Oblique Line Dotty Back, Boltane's Lionfish, Panther Grouper, and Longhorn Cowfish. Oh, it actually has me re-research things that I've already researched. Soft Coral, avoid placing with tank mates that are a danger to soft corals. Eats zooplankton every two days. Needs light. Well, I like the idea of Disco Mushrooms, so let's go disc Disco Mushrooms just because. And thank you, Dirk Vader, for the uh, two-month resub. Love your videos. You do great work. Hell yeah. Thank you. Okay. I think we're good to go. Let's get some uh, conches and shells up in here. I can't wait till we actually have a larger variety so that my, uh, my tanks are better. And I'm gonna want a, another giant center tank right here. Instead of jamming everything in this section. Because I effectively want to maximize uh, coverage. Now, we had something. Floor arrows. I need some staff. Oh shit, I do need staff. Yeah, I completely forgot that they existed. Thank you, Matthew, for the uh, three month resub as well. Okay. I'm gonna sell this, and we're gonna put a staff access directly next to the, um, the climb on point, or the, the climb up point. Okay, so things that we need to work on. So unlock the Disco Mushrooms, Protein Skimmer, get both of those. Sufficient lighting, sufficient water quality, sufficient heating. Alright, so none of my fish are, are starving now. That's that's good. That would have been that would have been bad. And for those of you watching the Twitch streams, remember there is actually a fish emote. Okay, so now we've now we've got sufficient. Probably should have paid attention to the staff. Like what staff I I recruited, but that that's okay. Alright, so we've got some money. Let's let's actually spend it on, on things. Um I guess first order of business. Let's fill those out for a second. Let's start moving some walls around. Because, yeah, effectively what I want is... You know, I should try making an observer tank situation where, like a maze. I could try that. Like, really force people to go around observer tanks. We'll do that uh, next next time we're we're just given free reign. I think I'll do that because I really like the idea of just this like insane, goofy uh, situation. Okay, I'm gonna put a staff door here. I don't, I don't know if staff doors are considered unsightly, but I figure having a bunch of them is a good idea. Okay. So what do we need? We need a lot of green. I mean, I really liked the idea of Crab Town.
earlier. Crabtown made me made me happy. So we need somebody that's a five. We're on a three and a two. Well, this guy's a three. Let's grab a two. Okay, uh, so we need probably just a power combi and some plants. Now let's make something silly. Nope, can't put the barrel directly in the center. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, well, I'll do it anyway. Welcome to Barrel Town. All right, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna buy big, expensive aquariums that these people go buy, as we go around. Depending on if you can make those observer tanks wide. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to see about observer tanks. I think you can make them wide and long, considering this is a giant observer tank. Oh right, we need benches and some other things. No access for step for a bench. It's an odd, odd requirement. Okay, so three. I might have to move those benches later, but I figured I'd make some at least. We'll need to get some more aquariums, but I gotta wait for the money to roll in. I see we're starting off with super casual fish management today. Yeah, got tired, sort of. I'm gonna need another big, big aquarium. All I'm going to do with it for now is one of you guys requires 70. He does. Well, in that case, the red-tailed butterfly fish. They can move. And that should help with that initial tank. Okay, uh... Close all windows. Alright, so that that's all good for a moment. Oh, the reason why I ran into problems is because both of these... Oh, that that's less of a problem. But we do need another guy that's good at maintenance. Because effectively what happened is, is two of the, uh... Two of the things just broke down. And that's, that's why the quality got, got bad. I was panicking for a moment there. But no, all we all we have to do is just make sure stuff gets fixed. Oh. I 
I just realized I'm blocking a staff access door like a dingus. We'll figure it out as we go along. Uh, let's see. I guess what I could do... Because we need money. We should probably get... Some fizzy drink machines going. Because, yeah, what I'd like to do is have this entire aquarium largely be this just entire central loop. And I can expand it along. I'll have to make it a little bit longer, because effectively I want to work on some... Uh, I want to get two of these giant center tanks or something like that. Anyway, disco mushrooms. Well, what else do we have? What's this one? Cannot be housed with dotty backs, grammas, and antheas. Huh. May eat or damage fish with size two or less, crustaceans with size two or less. These guys get big. Oh, they're worth some science, though. Same thing with the panther grouper, actually. Panther grouper is equally large. Will also eat or damage things larger than a certain size. Uh, has less needs, but gets bigger. Substantially larger, though. Let's get the lionfishes. I don't really like lionfishes that much. They're kind of jerks, but whatever. Most corals, including disco mushrooms, need light to supplement their food. You'll need to add a light to each tank that contains corals. The cost of light is proportional to the depth of the tank, so smaller tanks are cheaper to light. Okay, so we're just gonna have... disco mushrooms. Well... Oh, right. Should probably get a broom closet somewhere. I think I'm gonna sell this. Put another staff access door here. Just so they don't have to rush. There. Now we don't have to worry about messes. It would be great if we could get a, a whale tank up in this. Alright, so I wanted to look at this. Can I get a light? Basic light. Okay. Can I just put it wherever? Oh, I see. It doesn't go wherever. It, it, it places itself around the outside. Okay. Disco mushrooms. Require high water quality. And we'll grow up to the size of four after about three days. Okay, so you need a power combi, as you do. Okay, so I can have five of these in the tank, probably. We gotta wait for the protein skimmer to come along. I'm gonna get a a a a craft. I'm out of. I have no money for craft. Okay. Well, mores have grown. I guess we'll just leave those there for the time being. Oh, food. Okay. Turns out I need a little bit more money. Which is scary. Okay, picnic's research. Let's get the large filter. Okay, protein skimmer. Filtering alone isn't enough to reach the high water qualities required by corals and delicate fish. You need protein skimming too. I want to your disco mushroom tank and see the difference in water quality compared to filtering alone. Okay, come on, a little bit more money. A couple more people. Okay, there we go. I didn't even imagine that these this would be as grossly expensive as it, as it is. So that's enough. Should be enough. Okay, there we go. Oh, they get all blinky when they're happy. That's cute. Okay, so we want to save up for that protein skimmer.
Okay, congratulations on obtaining your first coral. The collector is currently compiling a wish list of what they want for the aquarium. In the meantime, you should continue to unlock new animals and equipment and try and reach rank 5. As you expand your aquarium, it becomes easy for some tanks to get missed by your guests. You can get feedback on this via the view raid overlay. Toggle but using the button on the top right of the screen. Okay, so we're going to move this over there. Might as well rotate that, actually. Okay. So, disco mushrooms are soft coral. They need light. I can easily put in the uh, the hermit crab. That runs into no problems. Okay, let, let's let's keep chucking interesting fish into this. So, butterfly fish may eat or damage stony corals. I don't know if that counts. I'll have to beware of that. Now, this tank is currently at a 10. I could throw a moray eel in there. But I, I like the... Uh, so that'll be 16, 18, we got five more. The water quality is looking fine. So we can have a fish of five or a two. I don't know if these count. Let's take a look at this. Disco mushrooms is a soft corals. So in that case, the red-tailed butterfly fish is probably a-okay. I'm gonna bet on it. We'll see what happens. It doesn't seem like it's giving me a warning, so hopefully this will be this will be okay. Okay, so we've unlocked Voltaine's lionfish. All right, uh, let's grab the let's grab the longhorn cowfish. They're decent. Okay, so we gotta make some things. So unlock the deep wall tank. Build a tank with the deep wall tank. Adjacent platform at correct height. Stairs connecting the floor. Any animal and sufficient water quality. Okay, so we're gonna wait until the filter is done and we'll work on the rest. I got a lot of money. Uh, so we should probably get some things. Let's see. You yeah, know, immediate or pressing uh, emergencies, which is real comforting. So, next order of business, we got a couple. I could actually make some small tanks along the edges. But let's see what it takes for a deep wall tank. 600 science. So that'll, that'll take a little while. Like three days? That's not so bad. Okay, do we... Yeah, let's expand the floor. Okay, we want it to be three. Because I can always sell these things. But yeah, so I want these people to be moving in one big long loop. So let's, let's add some stuff. I can just have... I, I'm effectively going to keep the whole place kind of symmetrical uh, with one big room at the very end uh, to keep people interested. You know, another one of these here, then another mid-floor tank, and then one hella big thing at the very end. Ish. Okay, what happened to the idea of the maze? Uh, we'll work on that later. I was going to work on the maze when I, I was not required to have something else. Uh, already, if that makes sense. I guess I might as well clear... 
open that up. Ugh. This is uh, pricey for the moment. Okay, so we need to make... We need to make stairs. Where are the stairs? Oh, I can't actually make a super huge tank like the other one. All right, well, this is fine. We'll just keep that as a small tank and we'll figure out the rest in a second. Okay, so I got the framework for what I need. So what do we, what do we do next? Yeah, what happened to Maze Point Hospital? I I like the game. It was just getting a bit repetitive. I mean, this is getting repetitive too. Uh, I I guess from a like totally boring and business standpoint, uh, my channels hit a bit of a snag with the start of the school year and a bunch of other things. So I'm I might be a little bit rapid fiery uh, with you know the various games that I play at least for a little while. I'd I'd like to you know finish things that I start, but. Um, it's proving to be a bit tougher. I was hoping it would be. Let's actually move this down a little bit further. Give me some room to get the um, the combis in. I might have to move that broom closet, but that's that should be expected. Okay, and they, they can bring the, the mussels in here, at least for the time being. Let's see, lionfish. Yeah, let's get a lionfish up in this. Okay, needs cave. We eat fish size two or less, and it gets hella huge. Alright. We're gonna have an eel and a lionfish in this tank. Oh, does the lionfish also eat um, crustaceans? If that's the case, that makes my life easier. Cause yeah, then I can just uh, then I can just toss in some decorations. I do admit uh, the decorations are a little less organic than I was looking for. Uh, I was really expecting, you know, I was kind of expecting the placement to be. It could be nice if it actually procedurally generated the the decorations just a little bit. What's the... Okay, yeah, not deep enough. Because, yeah, as it currently stands, uh, if I want to have nice-looking tanks with high star ratings, I pretty much have to just jam in the same couple of pieces over and over and over again. I found a YouTube channel where the YouTuber only does two to three episodes of a game and then moves on to another game. Yeah, I know a lot of those guys. It's, uh... It's something that I generally don't want to do, ever, if I can avoid it, uh, just because I do like finishing things, but I also like being able to pay rent, which is a, uh, a bigger problem than I'd like it to be, because unfortunately, um, you know, financials are the, uh, the death of art. I don't know, money is the death of art. There's some phrase to go along with it effectively, but um, it's it's tough. And so I've been low-key stressing out about that this entire uh, this entire week, month, effectively with the uh, start of school and like a bunch of series not doing really well. I'm like, no, now I can't do what I want. That's okay. I always kind of pull out of nosedives, it's just, you know, that initial, like, scare factor. Okay. Hey, we've got this sucker. Alright, do we get the Dottie back? Who's a bully? Interesting. Now, let's get the Panther Grouper. Bullies are a little bit harder to work with. Okay, we'll have the big tanks soon. 
So let's grab, let's grab the uh, Longhorn Cowfish. I like him. Cowfishes are cute. It looks like that odd flash game did better than I thought. Yeah, a ground. Uh, I might actually play that tonight. I, I honestly thought it was going to do terribly, considering, you know, how it looks. But I was apparently wrong. I was apparently very wrong. And I'm fine with being wrong. In fact, I kind of like being wrong. Okay, no, the cowfish eats cockles. So we could probably actually get, um... Some fox face rabbit fish up in this. How big is this tank? Now is the cowfish a grower? The cowfish is a grower. So we're actually at 13. So yeah, I could get a fox face rabbit fish if I wanted to. And do I have anything size that that could work with. We don't want the angelfish. I guess we could go with one of the basic ones up here. Just a uh, promise. Sure. Suckers are needy. Okay, so in that case, let's expand this too deeper. Oof. Yeah, I'm spending most of my most of my money on space. I could be a lot more. Uh, I could be a lot more efficient with these things, but I just like having my space, and I don't mind if things go bad. Should probably pay attention to these dispensers at some point and see. Um, Exactly what I uh, need. All right, so we got the deep wall tank, so we can start working on that. All right, deep wall tanks. Deep tanks require platforms at the back for your staff to access them for fi feeding. Build platforms with the platform tool found on the top left. Oh, that's where it is. I was trying to find it earlier, but I, I couldn't figure it out. Okay, so there, there's our answer. Put one of those dispensers backwards, I think. No, no, they're they're all right. It's just uh, the shape is different for the uh, the cockle dispenser as opposed to the other dispenser. We should probably hire her. She's an expert at feeding. Uh oh. One of these was grumpy. Get a basic filter up in this. Is there a So that that tells me the value of everything. Alright, we got the Panther Grouper and we can get him. So that's view percentage. Alright, so yeah, we're getting full coverage. Now we can look at tank capacity. This is something that I haven't uh, quite bothered with. I thought these were supposed to grow. Well, grow to three fish size after three days. I might actually have to move these, but they're not actually, they're growing, but they're not growing. It, it, it's like they're not, they don't count? Okay. Well, still. Yeah, if the, even if these tanks don't hit peak capacity, uh, I'm more interested in getting it to work right than anything else. You might want to rethink how this is set up.
Yeah, because what I could do is get a filter over here. Get a filter over there. Because I'm, I'm not maximizing the potential of some of these. And I was like, I don't really care. But in retrospect, I, I should care. I should care more than a little. I mean, the other thing what I, uh, that I can do, honestly, I'll just put that there. If I spaced out these uh, wall tanks a little bit more, it wouldn't be so bad. I guess I could do that. Face them three ways instead. I like the fact that the uh, the, the attached parts actually will move with the um, the attached parts will actually move uh, with the tank that you're moving. That's actually really nice. And yeah, this this fits so much better now. So you get tired of this background song getting repetitive. Oh, I wish you hadn't brought it up. Because I really like the song, but then I forget about it. And it's all good. Alright. Uh, so you know what? Let's, um... This... Tank's got good, uh, water quality. We've got some space issues. We've got a zebrafish... And amore. So, crustaceans with this. Oh! Okay, that's something to keep in mind. The bigger version of the more eel actually will damage crustaceans with a size three or less. It doesn't warn you about that. And this guy is gonna keep growing. Size 11. Okay, I'm just gonna let these guys grow up before I bother with anything. But yeah, putting more a eels with uh, crustaceans actually is a bad move. But yeah, let's uh, let's fix this. I like this music. It's good music, but it's a little repetitive. I, I didn't even think about it at first until you called it out because it's such a it's such a perfect background song that you don't even you don't even notice especially like for me cuz my like I'm focused on other things. Well, that's fine. I've got my own chilled background video game music that I can pull up whenever I need to. Might have to turn it up a little bit though. Yeah, let me know if things ever get too too loud. I'd have to switch braces here for a bit. That's fine. There's no... I don't think there's any immediate emergencies that I have to worry about. I'll just get a better brace on and then we'll uh, keep going. Okay, so we've unlocked the Bleak Line Dotty Bag. Has a care requirement you haven't seen before. They dislike congeners, which means they can't stand being around any other members of their genus or family. For the oblique lined dotty back, this means they cannot be kept with any grandmas, antheas, or dotty backs, including other oblique lined dotty backs. How the hell do they breed? Probably hatefully. Okay, so we got some mail. Yeah. So, can't put my, um... Oh, prestige went down by four because my crab got eaten. But, like, I kind of... I kind of... It doesn't provide you with this information very well. Uh, and honestly, I should have figured it as much. But yeah, warning, may eat or damage crustaceans with a size one or less. I didn't think that would scale up, but now that I know, I know. 
which means the the eater fish. Yeah, they they need to have the one to three in the in the UI. Because without that, it's just like, well, what did I do wrong? Oh, I see. I just wasn't properly warned about this. I know that's the constant, like, read the tutorial, stupid YouTuber. But, like, I did. It seemed like I was fine. I guess I was not. Eh, whatever. It's not a big deal. Just a grump. But yeah, so if you're if you're just watching this video, I, I bet that song probably got real, real repetitive, and I apologize for that. All right, uh, let's, let's see. Yeah, I want to get a lagoon tank, but it might actually just be better to get. Uh, let's see, deep wall tank. You know, I might want to just get that deep wall tank. Alternatively, I haven't even used these yet. Let's let's get some small deep wall tanks. And get used to the idea of them. Can we get? Oh, that's that's how we get the actual platform. Nope. I need a higher platform than that. Do I click and drag? Nope. Oh. Oh, you don't actually have to be at the top, do you? You just have to be at the halfway point. Okay, well that that's fine. I understand. Okay, yeah, let's get a power combi up in this. What do we even put in here? Well, we could get a dotty back. They're worth a bit. They're a bully. They require a rock. Fairly small, no other immediate requirements. Okay, so I can't have a dotty back there. Oh. One of your guests needs the toilet. Build some toilets so they have ac somewhere to uh, relieve themselves. Alright. Here's the question basic toilet. Well, that's easy enough. These are tiny toilets. I thought I'd have to like design a whole bathroom. And yeah, we'll wanna we'll wanna get like proper basic toilets. Uh, but that'll that'll do for now, and I I think the guests should be fine. 